Hello and welcome to another video. So I'm going to be upgrading my existing Hypercube 3D printer to the Hypercube Evolution design by Scott2C. I will put a link for that in the description below. So everything is pretty much carried over from my previous one. Main difference being I'm using a Anycubic Ultra Base heated bed. So going to have a 220mm cube build volume, so I'm only using the single z-axis lead screw version. Everything else is pretty much standard, still running it on 12 volts to reuse all the parts I had. So I've got a premium ramps board and a genuine Arduino, a E3D Titan extruder, extruder an E3D V6, and then the all the wires to connect all that up. I've got my 30 by 30 extrusion with the 20 by 20 for the bed components. I'm using the same kind of layout as I did in my previous build. So I've got some uh, 30 by 60 extrusions for the base so I can hide all the electronics underneath and stuff. Linear rods using 12 on the Z. 10 on the Y and 8 on the X, the 10's on the way currently. All the yeah, standard components, internal corner brackets and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to start with the frame. And in the meantime, I'm going to be printing all the parts on the Anycubic Cossel. Right, okay, so now I've built the frame. So I went together fairly easily. Now time to start on the Z axis. So I've got all the parts here. Uh, I'm just gonna try the heated bed just to get everything in position, uh, but then I'm gonna take that off to build up everything else. So these are all the parts we need. All the printed parts were in Fullamentum ASA, so um, essentially like ABS, uh, but better for use outdoors and stuff. It's more doesn't degrade or yellow as much under UV light. Uh, so these are printed on the Anycubic Cossel Delta printer and pretty happy with how they've turned out. So we'll assemble the bed frame now uh, using these 2020 extrusions. Right, so that's the Z axis assembled. I've got the 12mm rods and the integrated lean screw. I've also uh, braided these cables coming out of the back of the heated bed. Um, I think it looks nicer, but we didn't need to. <laughs> but uh, that then goes into a bracket to relieve the strain off the connections underneath here. So everything went together pretty nicely. I'll just lift the bed up here so you can see underneath. So underneath I've mounted the power supply to the frame. Uh, it's just easier to do that before putting everything else in. See the uh, rods there? I didn't bother cutting them to be exactly the right length because they can just uh, push through the brackets like that. The uh, cable for the uh, ramps power is uh, nicely hidden in the channel of the extrusion. So the bed, I printed this front plate here just to cover up the, the ends of the extrusion. I did have to get some longer screws and then uh, 
So I'll adjust the countersink on this ultra base. The glass plate just sticks on onto the the heating element. They also provide some brackets as well to uh, go around the edge, but uh, might put the one after. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this video there and then do the axes and electronics in another another video. Uh, so if you have any questions, then please just leave me a comment. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. Bye.